Yes, I am wearing the same shirt as I wore in another video. Bite me, I don't care. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm pre-filming some videos and I just remembered like I need to film this video because I almost forgot. Um, I'm sitting here on my bed and I was like, oh shoot, I have one year left in the military. And I just wanted to sit and talk with you guys about how I'm feeling, what my plans are. A lot of you have been asking me, uh, and I'm going to answer like a frequently asked questions that I've been getting lately as well. So let's get into the video. All right, so as you guys know, I've started my journey. Um, my YouTube channel really popped off, I guess I would say, as me going through my journey in the Army. Um, as a soldier, before I even be, went to basic training, I shared my experience going to the MEPS and, you know, getting in there, um, all that stuff, really from start to finish. And I owe my military career to my YouTube YouTube career starting, you know, starting off. And a lot of you found me through my military videos. And like I said, you guys have been here since day one. And I cannot believe that the time is almost here for me to like start deciding like um, what's the next step. So if you guys don't know me, if you guys just stumble across this video, hi, I'm Courtney. And I enlisted into the army when I was 19 years old, 19 going on 20, I think I was like, I just turned 20. I enlisted in April of, I enlisted in 2015. So I'm coming up on my sixth year in the army and I'm also coming up on my last year um, on my contract. I have about a little bit over a year left and I've got a little bit less of that time to decide on if I'm gonna re-enlist or if I'm not. And a lot of you guys are also wondering if, I'm if I decided if I'm gonna go active duty or OCS and all the things that I had in my mind that I wanted to do um, when I first started. So yeah. A frequently asked question that I get a lot is, am I active duty or am I in National Guard um, or Reserve? So I enlisted under National Guard, and a lot of people are also confused at, if I'm National Guard, then why am I on an active duty post? And basically, I um, my first duty station, I was on Fort Gordon, I was stationed or whatever on Fort Gordon, Georgia, which is an active duty post in Augusta, Georgia. Um, I drilled there, but I was also on a lot of orders, my unit is a long haul unit and or was a long haul unit the unit I was before for like a long time I was there for a while a few years like four years or so um or three years one of those and we just got a lot of orders so I would be in orders for months like two months at a time so I was always like vlogging and I was on post you know just living life like I was active duty and technically I was active duty um I was on active orders but I still fell under the national guard if that makes sense um, so that's why a lot of people get kind of confused. Like I was on active duty installation. I had my own room in a barracks. Like people were confused about that. So yeah, so I'm National Guard and um, I signed six years. Everyone technically is obligated eight years, um, but I, see, I signed six and then I have technically have two years like inactive, but hopefully not another world war comes and they can leave me alone and let me, you know, do my, be my veteran, have my veteran status. Um, but anyways, there's like a lot of noise going on outside. <laughs> uh, I think the kids are getting off of school. Yeah, a lot of kids are getting off school right now. Anyway, so um, my plans were to go to active duty and become an officer. And I'm still kind of in that limbo stage where I don't really know. I don't know if I want to enlist or not. Like, I've had years to decide and I really don't know. My hesitation for staying and not wanting to leave is just my friends, my family, like this has been six years of my life that I've had and it's hard at time, yes, but at the same time, like these are my, this is my, and they get on my nerves, they get, oh, chain of command, they get on your nerves all the time, but it's, there's nothing like that family, like I don't know how to explain it, but then again, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm like, I'll, I'll be free. Like, I don't have to worry about Uncle Sam anymore. Um, and it's just, it's it's a change. It's a big change. Um, I originally joined because, um, you know, I needed money for school. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, you sign up and you don't know what the 
you're getting yourself into and I definitely did not um, realize like really what I was signing up for until I got to reception I'm like oh shit. like I could go to war and um, yeah so <laughs> being deployed um, that that like I was like oh shoot oh shoot like I I ooh. yeah you don't know you really don't know what you sign yourself up for until you like you realize like damn I'm not going home anytime soon <sighs> I don't know y'all I can't decide I really have no clue um if I stay it's enough it's still a paycheck it's not much but it's a paycheck um if I go active duty I will at this point if I go active duty I might as well retire so that's another kind of weird thing like I've been in six years and if you go like another two or four or six sign I, I won't sign up for six years again but if you do that again like you might as well just stay and retire so it's like I really don't want to stay and retire but at the same time like if I do I might as well so you see like the conflict here and my experience hasn't been so horrible that like I'm like traumatized or anything because some people are traumatized which I mean I can see like having a chain of command that really is shitty it happens and you have, I think to myself like oh my god they get on my fucking nerves like really they do but that's just anywhere you go that's just your that's just how a jobs are at times it's like it's just it's dysfunctional it's just how it is so that's like yeah I don't know and then I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna be done you know I'm sick of y'all but then it's like, dang, I had a great time. And then I'm like, I don't want to go to AT anymore. I'm tired of qualifying and all that stuff and being outside, it's hot. And then I'm like, well, that wasn't that bad. Like, it's just, it's just a very conflicting thing. So leave in the comments, what would you do? Like, leave in the comments um, pros and cons that you think that maybe I haven't thought of. Um, another pro I could have in like I'm about to turn 26 so I need some insurance even though TRICARE isn't like the best but at least I'll have something um keeping an insurance that's another pro um and then a con it's like it's pretty hard to go 20 years and not have a deployment and I want a family one day did my phone go off and just going through that deployment last year that was hard man it wasn't even me it was my boyfriend and um deploying domestically is was hard and it wasn't even for that long like at all um it's a lot just to like pick up and do like and you have a family to think about you have parents that worry about you kids that are just worried about you and I, i'm thinking about that like long term I would die if Kenny goes on another deployment. I Kenny has been on three deployments, y'all. And I was there. I It's hard. It's freaking hard. So, answer to your question, a lot of people's questions, I do not fucking know what I'm going to do. It's just a hard. It's hard. But I have a year, a little bit under a year to figure it out. Um, but despite, if I do decide to get out, which I'm kind of leaning more towards, you know, getting out, I'll have the memories, I'll have my lifetime friends. I'm actually going to my friend from, one of my best friends from AIT. I'm going to her wedding in March or next month. She's getting married and she lives all the way in Colorado. We're going to her wedding. Um, so it's definitely like a different kind of friendship than like just regular civilian friendship. It's like we, it's like you meet someone and it's like you've known them your whole life and they're your lifetime friends. Like, it's, it's hard to explain, but I've met some of my greatest family um, being in the, in the military and it's just like a bond. It's a bond that is, it can't be broken. Like, uh, I can't even explain it. It's, it, it's like, nope, it's, I don't know. It's crazy, but uh, I originally joined um, also just it's uh, mentally I have grown so much and I owe it to the army I do I've always had really thick skin I've always been adaptable like my whole life just my life experience and just how I am my personality wise but the army has just shook me like like 
it's made me and I'm still figuring out my life figuring out myself like I'm only in my 20s but I found out a lot of about myself like I never thought in a million years that I could have made it through something like that and continued on with a career and think about it I was a little I was not little but young and I started a career and I still have it I could I could have I could retire from two careers people don't do that like you know what I'm saying so <laughs> I know I'm, I sound super jumbled but it's just it's it's made me like I have such it's given me the confidence in life and I'm a, you know so it's a hard decision. I don't know exactly answer to you guys' questions. I'm not sure. All right, guys, that's enough of my rambling. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and like put that out into the atmosphere because I get a lot of questions about it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.